Ba weep grana weep ninny bong and welcome back to my channel and today fans toys show us their pipes new age show us something from the past we also check in with magic square who are all in a spin and we'll also check out mph studios who look like they're on the warpath all this and much much more coming up in the next few minutes and now the news, don't touch that dial. Kicking off today then with something a little bit fun than I found on Twitter. Shout out to Pony Ray, who I guess posted and maybe created this. Recently, Transformers did a collab with Fortnite. And this, I believe, is something you can do in there. I don't play Fortnite, so... But I know you can dance, and now we get Optimus Prime dancing like this. So I just thought I'd add this because it's something that made me chuckle while I was scrolling through Twitter. X. Whatever. Now moving on to a really interesting digibash in Hasbro. If you've got your eyes and ears open, you will create this as soon as possible because this is miles better than what you're creating with Noah. This is, as I've already said, Noah, but somebody has digibashed it into Samus from Metroid. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. That is amazing. Well done. Really, really good work. So massive shout out to Keely Prillerman, I believe, who was the original creator of this fantastic Digibash. Amazing. Speaking of amazing, Lek Custom Cell Shader gave us an update on where they are with the Combaticons from Zeta. And as you can see, things are moving forward and looking as amazing as usual. Moving over to the world of Fun B Studios and Shadow Striker is getting released by Hasbro and Takara and he needs some little daggers, some little swords to go with it. So Fun B Studios as always are creating what Hasbro and Takara have seemingly just forgotten to give you. And they look good. I think in the bot mode here, I really like the way that these swords, little dagger things look, especially when you can put them on the arms, just like that. In the alt mode, yeah, I can take or leave it. They're just using the ports that are actually there, but it's nice that they can kind of fit on the back as well when they are in their robot mode. So pretty good looking here. I like it. Um, Again, makes me just wish to get a 3D printer, right? MPH Studios are now releasing figures. Recently, they did release their Beachcomber, I believe. I have seen it shipping out. So they're showing some prototypes for something that is coming up. So this is going to be their take on Warpath, which, similar to their Beachcomber, is a really G1-looking Warpath, or a G1-looking bot mode and it's just going to have some added articulation and stuff like that and they have also showed off some of the images and plans for their prime launch i think going back we also saw some prototypes of this as well it looks pretty damn cool now we move over to the world of pengu toys who have one of the best looking leo convoys that you can get and this one is the red version of that this is flame blade now what you'll notice first of all here is that it comes with a different heed it also has this rather fetching alt mode as well with a lovely big crown on its heed as well so what you'll notice here is that we don't have the classic optimus prime heed we have this more kind of samurai inspired one but never fear because this bad boy also comes with a massive axe a massive sword and then also comes with the classic prime heed as well so all in all it's a pretty good shout i really like this figure it's fun now we move over to dream star toys who if you remember are creating the aerial bots so that they can make superior and this is silver bolt this is the middle one that they have we took a look at the in its chest mode and now we can look at the bot mode and of course that all important very sleek alt mode and the alt mode looks really really good as long as you only look at the top the bottom does look like a 
bit of a mess. Um, it does look like it, the foot actually turns into one of those vehicles that, that guides the planes around. I like that approach. That looks pretty cool to me. Um, I know it is. I, I, I mentioned this in the comments of these pictures, actually, that I said it does look like a little bit of a mess underneath. And yeah, I get it. It's a sleek bot. It's really difficult to transform without giving it a really bulky underbelly i get that so i guess they've done the best that they can but <laughs> yeah just just don't look underneath and now we move over to fans toys who showed off their pipes so pipes is coming very 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 soon and it has some uh, big changes um to it obviously since they released hoffer um it is a variation on hoffer but you can see there are some big differences especially when you check out this video that shows the transformation i think this looks absolutely fantastic um i actually got rid of my hoffer i've said this before from fans toys i, I didn't like the 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 huffer too much this one to me looks a lot better it doesn't look like it's built in some of the same ways as huff when it comes to, to certain parts of it have certainly been improved i would say since uh, the creation of huff so yeah it is obviously based loosely around the huff but has some significant improvements from what i can see obviously it comes with its destructions and then also comes in a rather fetching box and from what i've seen it's getting ready to ship now so get ready if you've already paid for it let me know in the comments what it's like now we move over to New Age. So New Age showed off these, and these are some funny colored little bugs. So yes, this is their take on the Insecticons. Granted, when it comes to New Age, some of the weakest figures that they've released, uh, especially this one, Kickback, not the strongest looking Kickback I've ever seen. And it's tough for me to say because I absolutely love me some New Age. If you watch this channel often, you know that they are my favorite Transformers company, but that does not stop me in being critical when I need to be critical. And these three bugs cause me to be rather critical. So if you are thinking of picking up these, just be warned that as far as New Age figures go, these are some of the weakest ones. But what are these crazy ass colors I hear you say? well the crazy colors for this are the original diaclone colors so nice really cool nice to get that call back of course with it being new age expect about 50,000 other colorways to come in the future We've now also seen some of the first images of magic squares take on vortex and so the bot mode does look fairly nice although generic but i do quite like the alt mode here really liking actually the whole combaticons line from magic square it's not often i call out magic square saying that they look good this is probably one of the few times that they do but they don't seem to be made from a squishy marshmallow as usual these ones actually do look pretty damn nice not enough to make me fork out the dollar 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 for it but all in all i'm i'm liking the approach that they're taking to the combaticons so far now we move over to X, Twitter, whatever the hell you want to call it right now, and to the account of Jeff Senor. Now, if you don't know who Jeff Senor is, he is the person responsible for a lot of the drawings that we got back in the day for the classic Transformers magazines and comic books. And right now, he is giving people the opportunity to pick up an awesome looking print just check out this bad boy this is one of my favorite transformers characters that doesn't transform this is the only thing i will count as a transformer that doesn't transform that would enter my collection this my friends is death's head yes went on to do his own thing and also changed the way he looked after he left the transformers comics i didn't really like that redo of him this is death's head the classic death's head the bounty hunter that went and got galvatron all these amazing things he is fantastic go pick one up yes so from death's head to sleepy head in one of the weirdest collaborations i've ever seen this is transformers collaboration with calm and this is an app that you can download where optimus prime or let's be fair peter cullen will tell you a bedtime story nice i guess but it's exclusive on calm you can go download it 
bizarre. Rise of the Beasts is out, and we've now reached that point, I guess, where Hasbro just throw everything at the wall and hope it sticks, whether it was in the movie or not. This is Beast Awakening, Rise of the Beasts, Beasts, Optimus Primal, and Battle Chargers weapon set. So you can see how they all combine here with this big-ass Primal. None of this happened in the movie whatsoever so this is all really specifically just for the toy line here so if you want to pick this up you can but yeah they all look pretty crap right they all look like they came out of a kinder egg this is where it goes a little bit off the rails all the time for me Keeping things Rise of the Beasts related and King Samlock on Instagram shared these pictures of how they created the toy for Mirage. Now, I keep saying this. I think they created this without looking at what the ver movie version was actually going to look like because this is terrible. And I, I don't think I've ever seen a side-on view of this figure, but look at that kibble. But they, I, they, this is almost as bad as some of the toys we got for the 86 movie where they hadn't really spoke to the way that the movie was going to be and the toys were coming out and they weren't the same colours and they didn't look like they did in the movie and there was all kinds of drama around that. This gives me that same vibe. When you look at the bot mode for this and you look at what we got in the movie, color-wise, everything, it's just not related. And this is the studio series version. Yay! And then finally, we come back to the talk of the town at the moment, and this is the missing link. And if you don't like that matrix chamber there, you can remove it. Make it look more like the old school version good option so that is everything from me on this transformers tuesday if you're new around here please think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe and also check out some of my shorts recently because if you're down to like things like transformers devastation i'm going to be running a lot of what i'm playing there on transformers devastation in my shorts so am i playing transformers devastation in my shorts or am i running it in my shorts i don't know check out my shorts and find out peace <laughs>